Um, well, it got away from us there in the third. We had a bad inning there, and they bust a lot of hits together. Hit some good pitches. Brayton had good stuff. He was just up in the strike zone and missed over the heart of the plate when people got out there, and they made us pay for it. And uh, they swung the bats very, very well. And um, you know, eight in the third was an eight in the third inning was certainly enough to win the game. And uh, can't give up big innings in this game or in this league and expect to win. And uh, that inning got away from us there, and um, hopefully we'll bounce back tomorrow. With the way y'all have been swinging the bats lately, did did y'all think that eight was overcomable? Um, you never think the game's over. I mean, you try to get three or four the next inning, may cut it in half, and you never know. So, um, you know, but we got some guys a little bit banged up, and you know, Mooney couldn't go tonight, and uh, Stino twins his hamstring, so I had to get him out of the game, and then. Uh, you know, and they, they pushed it a little bit more than eight, then I, I started thinking about the, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we're not swinging the bats very, very well. We got to do we got to do more offensively to, to help our pitchers. And uh, even though if we'd have swung it well tonight, I don't know if we would have won anyway. But um, hopefully uh, we can get out of the funk that we're in offensively and uh, be more competitive in the batter's box and, you know, hit it harder than our opponent. Right now our opponent's hitting, hitting the ball a lot harder than we are. Do you think you'll have those two guys tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, we'll see when they uh, see when they show up tomorrow. Uh, I have no idea. That's uh, uh, Mooney injured his hip on the on the slide, the great slide he had last night, and and um, I think uh, uh, Justino t tweaked his hamstring running down to first earlier in the game. So uh, I don't know if he'll be available or not. Braden said he thinks the team stayed pretty locked in throughout the entire game. Do you think they did that, especially on defense? Well, I mean, we made a couple a couple of errors there. I mean, I. I was the, the defensive pro, uh, plays that I was that I had a little problems with was in the ones in, the, in that inning, the third inning. I, we played fine defense outside of Haswell throwing that ball away, um, but you know we just didn't keep the ball in the infield on some balls that we should have kept the ball in the infield on. A couple numbers to you know to first, and then the ball that Weber hit down the line, and uh, you know two out ball maybe that DC maybe could have not made a play on, but maybe kept it in the infield. We just didn't do a good job of limiting the damage, keeping the ball in the infield. And uh, didn't show up as errors on the scoreboard, but uh, in my book, we gotta be we gotta be tough enough to keep those balls in the infield. And that was the problem I had most defensively tonight. But uh, other than that, you know, uh, Georgia swing the bats a lot better than we did. And, and uh, they hit some good stuff. I mean, Braid was throwing it in there pretty good. They turned it around, so tip of cap to them. In the ninth inning, you guys were able to get some things going. Does it just show much about the fight and hope to keep that going tomorrow? I hope it. I hope it. Uh, I hope it gives us a little bit of confidence. We need a little confidence in the batter's box, and uh, it's good to see. Uh, you know, Gene's. Gene's been. Uh, you know, over the last 10, 12 days or so, he's been our most consistent uh, offensive player. You know, from the quality of bats that he's given each and every time in there, and. Uh, we gotta, we gotta have some jump on board with Gene, you know, because right now it's too inconsistent. Outside of a couple guys in the lineup, it's too inconsistent. And uh, gotta get back to being who we were the first 33, 32, 31 games or so. And because uh, right now it's certainly not good enough. What can you kind of do to kind of jump start things offensively? Do you put different guys in there? Do you manage a little differently with runners on base? Or? Yeah, I mean, I gotta probably do a few more things differently and maybe, you know, relax them a little bit, maybe hit and run more. And, Take the thought process out of it for them. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, we tried a little bit of that tonight, and uh, but then the game got away from us. So you couldn't really. After that, you couldn't really uh, apply that train of thought. So I guess we're just gonna have to be aggressive and swing the bat. I mean, you don't come out of it until you bang a few around. And um, you know, right now we're not banging a few around. Uh, I mean, Gene did, and Hunter did. That was good to see Hunter swing it that way. And but you know, I got to remember, you know. Our guys that have been playing have put us in a good spot. You know, just because we hit a little rough patch, um, you know, it's not time to throw them overboard. You know, we we, we got to get back to playing the way we're capable and the way they are capable of performing. Along those lines, you worried about the mindset of this team after a couple of blowout losses? You, you always, I worry all the time. I, I mean, I worry when we win. So, I mean, I'm worried all the time. So, um, but yeah, we, we uh, I just want them to play the way they're capable of playing. I got good kids in our dugout that want to win, and they play hard, and they've worked hard, and they've done everything we've asked them to do. Just want them to if hit a little rough patch here, and it happens over the course of 56 games. We just got to play better. I'm 
I know it's um, I know you dropped them in the order a little bit today, but with Jones, it, does there come a point where where you try to give them a game off and well, like I thought about it. I hate out? to give them. Yeah, I thought about it today, and uh, I hate to give them a game off in the conference play. Another give them a game off in the middle of the week. You know, these things are so important, and one swing of the bat can be the difference between we're winning and losing. So I hate taking one of our better hitters out of the lineup, and uh, he's not gonna. I'm I, I just a believer that you don't come out of it sitting over there on the bench and. Uh, could it help him rest his mind a little bit? Yeah, but gosh knows. I don't I don't like to rest in minds when we only get 30 of these league games, and I just don't feel good about having our best players on the bench. Uh, he's got to come out of it and, and uh, get good pitches to hit and put good swings on it and trust his ability. And uh, right now he's he's not feeling good about himself, but it only takes one swing. Anything else? Uh -huh. Thanks, 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 Than